Hello guys and welcome to the joystick tutorial. Before I start, I just want to apologize. I've been really busy this past week and that's why I wasn't able to release it as uh, sooner. But anyway, uh, before we start, I want to make mention that I own a Logitech G940. So uh, things might be slightly different for you if you own a different joystick. The joystick I own is about 10 years old uh, I was very lucky to get my hands on one of these because I really 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 like this uh, Hotas it has a couple of issues but they're really easy to resolve uh, but what I really like about it is that it's a it has force feedback and that's why I really really like it sadly War Thunder force feedback is not the best but uh, it makes it more enjoyable nonetheless anyway let's get right into it let's get into a test flight real quick and yeah anyway it's very super simple but at the same time is uh, a little bit annoying I, I am currently not using my head tracking because I just finished work and I'm not gonna play I just wanna make this video just for you guys so I'm sorry <laughs> anyway I'm just using my my uh, yeah little joystick on my on the joystick <laughs> anyway let's go back into it let's just go into controls and go into control setup wizard this is the best shortcut you can do it is gonna help you a lot but it's not gonna make you the like the whole work I highly recommend you to go through every single thing uh, in, in your controls it's very important especially if you want to find that sweet spot uh, yeah anyway so first of all you jump here into control setup wizard and you find your joystick if it's not here then you will have to do every single thing step by step now if it is here click on that joystick so for example I have it right here mine G940 before you do this make sure you save your 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 what's the name your files your control files because as you can see you click to save it you click export file and then you just you know put the name of whatever and blah, 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 and then you save it and it will appear over there you will see if I click import you will find it I have already my joystick setup and my uh, mouse joystick setup and this one well is what you, you just saw no anyway so first of all you click that and you will have the um, War Thunder the, the, the setup that War Thunder will give you to your joystick as as we previously uh, we oh sorry guys I'm sorry as we previously selected Logitech G940 that's my joystick you will see everything is according to War Thunder right the problem is that most of the time uh, some of the controls are going to be wrong uh, what do I mean by this is I for example I'm using throttle joystick and pedals yet on my yo axis right here you can see that it says throttle axis eight that is definitely not my pedal so how do i fix this very simple over here choose joystick axis you click here and you will find all the axes available of your joystick now which one is mine oh mine are pedals right here so i just keep click on it i already change it now if i move my pedal if i push my pe pedal to the right oh there we go now i push left there we go before we continue I want to explain to you guys real quick what does this little uh, red and green uh, square means. The red one is what is happening physically. What is happening uh, directly into the, let's call it, real world, right? I push it slightly to the right, you see? And then that is what actually is happening, right? And the green one is what happens in game. So it's very important that you play around these settings right here to have it as comfortable as you want, as, sensi as, sensibly, uh, as sensible as you want. I'm sorry guys, English is not my first language. I'm trying my best here, so I, I do apologize if sometimes you know I struggle to say the words. Anyway, back into the topic. Why is this so important? Because sometimes you, your, your pedal might be very sensible and might be taking a lot of, uh, of you know, you might be just flying and, and suddenly you lean a little bit too much to your right leg 
and it is already affecting the direction of your plane or your trim or who knows what when you're in middle of combat and because you leaned a little bit too much is there's a negative effect into your performance so my advice is for you to play around these settings to have it on that sweet spot for you to be able to be as per as high performance as, as best i don't know what i'm saying just as as the best as you can be so how do i have it i have the the well this is not how i have it i have it on my other controls but anyway the dead zone i will probably leave it on 0 0.02 the non-linearity i will also leave it on two what does the non-linearity is here let me explain you well dead zone is very simple it just means you know that there will be a little dead zone before the in-game you know reacts into the physical axis so anyway back into non-linearity non-linearity is the sensibility at the very end uh, of the axis I don't know if that makes sense but for example you can see that when I start pushing towards the left the green axis barely moves but as soon as I start getting into the end of the axis oh it catch up it, it starts catching up into my red axis you see that so that's what non-linearity does it basically becomes more sensible by when when you're reaching to the very you know limit of the axis so if I go ahead and put this let's say to the max watch this watch this it's gonna let me do small things you see I'm making very big physical movements to make small corrections of the uh, within the game but when I am pushing all the way up then this comes all the way up it becomes very sensitive at the end you see what I'm saying it basically allows you to be able to use more force for for small corrections but when you go all the way to the top then it becomes you know sensible to that so don't put too much <laughs> i will probably use between two or less i like two very much because it allows me to to correct my shots uh, very nice nicely when i am you know flying and anyway multiplier and correction this don't touch it don't touch it correction uh well the correction is actually very helpful let's say that uh, I don't know my well, let's say my my pedals is broken and and it is permanently permanently sorry it's permanently staying there you know like the red square is staying there so I'm gonna correct it and put it in the middle uh, there we go now I can actually use it you see what I'm saying it's, I don't know if the example worked, but anyway. So that's how you set up your axis, uh, or basically everything. Pitch also uh, here. I already this came good, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Without an without an issue, looks very good. Nonlinearity is also in two, and will in in the in game I will probably sorry in the joystick I will probably leave it in one point five. I think 1.5 is much better than than uh, two, in my personal opinion. I really like it. Um, what else? What else is important? Oh, I know what else is important. Uh, let me find it. Full real controls. Right here. By the way, n never. I mean, when you're doing this, make sure you put full real controls here. Roll sensitivity, pitch sensitivity, yaw sensitivity. I this should be by default a little bit lower I believe but I like it all into a hundred percent this uh, this just gives some better accuracy in my opinion but other people might you know say no to this I guess it's all about preference I would really like a hundred percent sensitivity also if you are using force feedback like I am make sure to click this and play around your settings is gonna help you a lot for the people who yeah everything else is just about the preference your your hottest you know you're gonna you have a lot of buttons use the buttons that you want this is all by default what the game uh, decided to put I have completely different uh, what's the name uh, settings when it comes about you know like uh, Mac manual engine control and so on 
which I'm going to show you guys now. Report file, joystick, now open. Now, now that I got it here, let's take a look real quick into my, yeah, like I said, you see 100% sensitivity. Let's take a look at my settings here. I have it at two. Oh, yeah. Well, let's put it at 1.5. I don't know why I have it at two, honestly. Yep, I really do like that. Anyway, yes, you see the other one I had at 1.5. Uh, I must have forgot to to move the other one. And this one, no, but the pedals I do like the two. I don't like the the one, the 1.5 on the pedals. Anyway, um, for those who are interested on the Mac manual engine controls, I uh, can. Well, I have all set up on my throttle and and, and what's the name and uh, and buttons and stuff. Now it's important that maybe one of your joysticks have a, for example, this right here, a little uh, like a wheel in your joystick. To find that, you just have to find the axis. Like for example, right now I'm gonna move that little wheel, and as you can see, it just works perfectly fine. And again, uh, play around with these settings, and you will have it how you want it, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. It's very, it's very simple and very nice. Uh, well, everything else you just have to find that button that you like. I honestly don't play uh, Jets that much, so I don't really have a use for all of this. But perhaps in the future when I do play, I will probably set up everything else here. In the meantime, everything else is just how I like it. And I hope I was able to help you in any way or at least guide you into you know how to get it right uh, I don't know I just hope that I was able to help you uh, now let's uh let's what's the name let's play for a bit why not so let's check that everything is working and is working and yeah well guys I hope that you like the video please uh, leave a like and subscribe leave a comment I am terrible at talking honestly so please bear with me <laughs> uh, this guide's stuff is just a new thing for me so cheer me up and if you like what you're watching please make sure to, to leave some feedback and yep yeah <laughs> good luck out there pilot oh oh see you till the next one